Hi guys, welcome back to the CS Classroom. Um, so this is going to be another tutorial on PySimple GUI, and what we're going to talk about today is how to generate and display QR codes um, in a PySimple GUI application. So here we're just going to show you a simple example. Um, right here I've got this application right here, and I'm going to type in a URL, www.google.com. The idea is that I can generate a QR code that when scanned would send you to google.com. So click generate QR code, we've got this right here. Um, and what we can do, I mean, I can't really show you my, I don't really want to show you my phone in this video. So what I'll do is I'll just take a screenshot right here. And then we will open this up in our application called QR Journal, which allows us to view um, QR codes on our desktop. here. Okay. And right here, we can see that the data in that QR code is www.google.com. And if we scan that, that's where we would be led to. So let's go ahead and let's get started in building this. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do is we're going to create a new file called, um, let's say QR code example.py. Okay. Um, now we're going to want to import a few libraries. The first one is pretty standard, import uh, PySimple GUI as SG. Um, and we're also going to import QR code, which we haven't installed yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, what we can do is we can just open up our terminal right here in Visual Studio, and we can say pip install QR code. Okay, and we've already got installed, but if you don't have it installed, you should install it because it is essential for this program. And then we're going to import OS. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our layout. So our layout is basically just going to be um, a field in which we can type our URL, um, a button to generate our QR code, and then a, an image element right here where we can display our QR code. Um, if you haven't already, I would highly recommend watching the tutorial on how to use images in PySimple GUI applications before this, because this makes use of some techniques that were explained in the previous tutorial um, on images. So we're creating our layout right here, standard uh, 2D array. We've got an image element. Key is going to be equal to um, image. We're going to use this to update uh, this field right here, which was empty before, if you remember. Um, and we're going to say the size is going to be equal to 300 by 300. So it should be 300 by 300 pixels. Okay, and we're going to need that. Yeah, so we need some parentheses right there and then close that row up. Um, next, we're going to have our um, input, which is where we type in um, our URL. So we'll have sg dot, uh, I'll create another row, sg dot input. Um, we'll make that about 25 characters long. And we'll give that a key of web address because this is where we'll specify the web address that we want to be stored in our QR code. And really we could actually store any text. It doesn't have to be web address. But for the purposes of this tutorial and really just for a lot of uh, applications, that's going to be the most common uh, use case for QR codes. Cool, OK. And then we've got our Generate QR Code button, which is right here. And a lot of what happens in generating the QR code is going to take place once we click this button. So let's go to window.sg. or equals sg.window. We'll just call this uh, QR Code Generator. And we'll include our layout in our sg.window um, object right here. Or while initializing our sg.window object. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to write a function that will allow us to generate a QR code based on a link or a web address. So that function, based on what we type in here, is going to generate a QR code. And that's going to make use of this QR code library right here. So let's say def uh, generate QR code. Um, okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a QR code object. So we're going to say QR code dot QR code, and we're going to have some parameters: uh, version equals one, um, box size. 
equals 10 for each individual box, and then border equals 5 for the border around the QR code. Um, if you want more information about this, you can look at the documentation for this QR, for this QR code library, but I'm not going to focus too much on that at the moment. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, add data to that, QR, to that QR code. So we're going to specify what data needs to be stored in that QR code. So we're going to do um, QR from our QR code object dot add data. And there we're just going to input our link or our, web, or our web address, which is just going to be a string. So we'll have a link. Um, and then we will have qr.make and then fit equals true. Um, once we've done that, um, we, also need to, we also just need to specify one other um, set of parameters for our QR code. So we're going to say qr.make uh, image fill equals black and back color equals white. Um, so what this just means is that um, we're going to be filling in any of our squares using black and that the background color is going to be white, um, which is kind of cool. You can actually make this a bit colorful and you know mess with this as you feel. Um, next, we're going to have a file name. So we're actually going to generate an actual PNG file, and we're going to we're just going to call that QR code um, plus dot PNG. Okay. Um, and partly this so because this is a PNG file, we're not going to have to do anything particularly complicated um, because PySimple GUI natively is able to handle PNG files. So we're going to create a file path. Um, so we're going to say path equals os.path.join, um, os.getcwd, um, and file name. So what this does is this joins these two strings together um, into an address on our computer, into a file uh, address in our computer, um, or rather an address within our file system. And what this does is that gets the address of our current working directory. So this gets the address of, in this case, PySimple GUI QR code live, and then it appends the file name, which is going to be QR code.png. So we would get the address um, in our file system leading to the QR code uh, image that we've generated. Um, and we're going to save our QR code uh, to this path. So at this particular location. So we're going to say path, and then we're going to return that um, from this function. So now that we've done that, let's kind of get into actually um, responding to events and generating a QR code in our application. We're going to start, you know, or we're going to get into our standard event loop. We'll have event values equals window.read. Um, we'll have if event equals exit. Pretty standard. Again, allows us to exit out of our application. Window closed. And then we'll have if event equals generate um, so what's what this is going to do is let's go ahead and just close this for the time being what this is going to do is this is going to hand this is basically going to um, uh, handle um, as clicking on the generate QR code button so basically when we click when we click here we're going to do whatever lines of code are specified right in here so we'll say, we'll get our web address from our input right here using this key. So we'll say web address equals values um, web address. Oh, okay, let's use the hyphens. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and change this to an underscore. So web address. It looks like this should actually be lowercase. So we'll say values, um, and so yeah, again, this is corresponding to this key right here um, for this input here, where we're inputting our web address, and then we're going to use that web address, and we're going to call our um, generate QR code uh, function. So we're going to say QR code image path equals generate QR code, and then the input being that web address. And then um, we will say window 
image, we're going to update this image element that would have previously been blank. Um, so we'll say window image um, dot update, and then file name is going to be equal to the, is going to be equal to this QR code image path. So we'll say file name equals Okay, cool. All right, and then we'll have our window.close. So that's pretty much it. Um, what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna, when we run our application, I'm gonna print out this path so it's kind of clear to see what's going on right here. Um, but let's go ahead and let's run our application. We're gonna close this. This is our demo application. And let's run our actual code that we've just written right here. Okay, all right. So as you can see, this is blank right now. Um, that's we haven't really spe we don't really specify any uh, files file names any data or any paths in our uh, image element when we first open the application so this is correctly empty let's type in a URL so www dot um, let's say uh, bvc dot com let's generate a QR code and there we go so two things I want to point out first if you look at our um, output um, right down here let me just kind of move this up here. We've got um, our file path right here, which is what we printed out here on this line. The next thing is you can also see that a QR code at PNG has popped up in our directory. So that is what is being displayed right here, okay? And now let's go ahead and we can give this a try. Let's just take a, well, let's uh, click import, and then we can just take a screenshot right here of this. Import it right here. And as you can see, it says bbc.com, so we were successful. So I hope this was all useful to you. Um, QR codes can be really powerful. Um, they can be a great way to spread information and to lead the users to um, online sources or online, um, or just anywhere online, um, especially from a desktop application like your PySimpleGUI application. Anyways, have a nice day and look forward to some more tutorials.